guys welcome welcome back to another episode of artistic license my thursday stream where we do um whatever i want and this week we're playing some more final fantasy 10 so we're gonna get into that in just a little bit but before we do i wanted to let everyone know that we reached 100 followers and so on saturday we are having a party so for those of you that guys don't that don't know yet we are going to do our regular interstage window episode on Saturday from noon to two. And then after that, I'm gonna do some setting changes in the stream and we are gonna play party games all the way until midnight Eastern time. Yes, that means I will be streaming for 12 hours. Uh, I normally go to bed at like maybe between nine and 10 o'clock. I'm basically out by 10.30, so, um, we will see how that goes, stay it up all the way until midnight, but I'm excited. Uh, that stream is not going to be posted anywhere. By the way, the VODs are not going to go up on YouTube. So if you want to participate, please show up. If you're interested in exactly what we're doing, it's all party games, but I've got a schedule posted in my Discord server. So I will make sure that you guys have a link to that. Let me see. There we go. So that is the link to the Discord server. If you're interested in seeing it, make sure you come into the Discord server. You can get the schedule there. Lunar, hey, how's it going? How are you doing this evening, Lunar? So if you go into the Discord and you go into the announcements there, you will see the schedule for Saturday for the party games on Saturday. What if I don't want to join your Discord? Lunar, you're in the Discord. What are you talking about? <laughs> but, um, the stream itself, the party is going to basically start at two o'clock. In addition to playing a bunch of party games, we are also going to have several giveaways. So even if you are not interested in playing games with us, there is still something for you there because the whole point of this is to say thank you to you guys who have been following me. Um, we've been doing this for about, I don't know, I wanna say it's like eight, nine months now. So to reach hundred followers already on a platform that has like zero discoverability, I think is pretty awesome. Um, so I'm really excited to share this time with you guys on Saturday. All right, you're doing cold. Yeah, it's pretty cold here too, Lunar. Um, it's been cold and rainy. Like yesterday it didn't rain, but I feel like it's rained every single other freaking day. Um, the sun needs to come out, needs to stop that so that it can get a little bit, you know, just a little bit less like freaking freezing. <clears throat> All right, let's talk about yesterday's spare room episode. So we did a love triangles episode for yesterday for spare room to continue our romance month for February. And this was one that was, uh, that was very near and dear to my heart. I have tried so many times, like so many times to actually role play out a love triangle and it is very difficult to accomplish. So I've got some tips in this video for how I got it to work. Like really, the way that we got it to work, it was me and Marina and Naomi who had a love triangle together in our last role play. They actually went pretty successfully. And it really comes down to like all of us being good friends and knowing each other pretty well and communicating what we kind of wanted and what we were interested in making sure that you know all of that all of that kind of happened and, and came together and uh and that really helped make sure that uh that the that the role play went the way that it did i did not mean to clear the chat just then i was trying to change some of the settings but it accidentally cleared it out oh well that's okay that's just on the vod so for the, the love triangle episode, um, I, I once again tried to get a little bit more interesting with my lighting and things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys would like to change the lights while you're watching the stream today, uh, I've got a channel redeem down there where you can pick the light color. And I've got, uh, you can see on the remote here, for anybody who's interested in that channel redeem, this is what the remote looks like and you can get all these different colors on it. Really fancy. I don't think I've ever played a love triangle before. First really nice romance scene. Oh, really? Well, Lunar, I'm so happy for you. I would say that um, probably knowing how to do like a good uh, just two character ship probably does precede doing a good love triangle. Um, it takes it, it takes a lot more communication, right? Uh, you know, us role players, we can get our feelings hurt a little bit easily. So most of the times that I've tried this in the past, it's not worked out. Somebody's gotten, you know, their feelings hurt one way or the other or felt, you know, some sort of way about it and ended up bailing on the ship. So don't really work out unfortunately but this one did and so i'm sharing my tips in this video of how we made that happen and how we did it successfully and how we made it fun all right 
that's what I really wanted to say about that particular video. Let's get into the game. Let's get into the game. Okay, come on, Twitch. Notice the game. There we go. Okay, turn our volume up just a little bit. Okay, the levels look good to me. Y'all let me know if it sounds okay. If it doesn't sound okay, I can do some adjustments. Okay. Let's load her up. Yes. Alright, we left y'all off on a cliffhanger last time. Um, we are about to actually participate in Operation Meehan. I'm gonna see exactly what is gonna go on there. They're gonna try to... It's like Yevon authorizes this whole operation. Yep, they do, Waka. Uh, they are going to try to attack Sin with some Forbidden Albed Machina, so we'll see how that goes for them. Do I have to? I think I have to go around here to get that chest. Yes, I do. Okay. I love how parts of the music that are playing right here, you hear that? It's, it's the Hem of the Faith, but it's like slowed down and low. Sad Hem of the Faith. I'm a little nervous. Oh, well, yeah, you know I'm pretty nervous too. Anything could happen. Make sure you're ready for combat. Okay. Go to Yuna. I already did, Oren. Thank you. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Thank you for the, the 3,000 bits, Lunar. You're amazing. <laughs> oh, you got yourself a new bit badge there. Sweet. Oh. I don't know enough about bed. I don't know what he's saying. <gasps> something about the Machina, and I think that's something about they'll succeed. They think they'll succeed if they use the Machina. Uh, Yevon's teachings, something, something. I don't know. I don't know what he's saying. I've never done a playthrough with actually having all the all bed things unlocked from the beginning. You can do that, but I've never personally done it. Um, so <laughs> I don't know what a lot of these uh, guys say that are speaking all bed here towards, you know, the more beginning part of the game. <clears throat> yes, we're ready. Let's go. Mr. Kinock, please. Will Sin come? Sin always returns for its spawn. Yep, we learned that. Make sure, we're going to encourage them to call out to it. You won't have to. It'll come. Mm-hmm. I remembered Oren telling me. Sin is my old man. Sin is jacked. Sin always comes for its spawn. Like Titus. That's how Orin knows it's coming. Uh oh. Music getting intense. <gasps> Thank you for that howl, Lunar. Thank you for that howl. You're getting me jazzed up for the battle. Uh oh, here it comes. I love the, the battle music here. It's like so freaking cool. Okay. So we want to... Let me... Let's do this. Use that haste. Haste up Orin. I love that sound alert too. I'm so glad you like to use the wolf howls. Um... It amuses the hell out of me. Jeez. He hurts. That's not going to do anything right now, Titus. You're going to have to chill out and wait before you can hit it. <clears throat> Alright, so basically the strat for this guy is you got to take... You got to take out the arms so that you can hit the middle. And you should take out the head ASAP. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to switch to our ranged friends and that's how we're gonna take out the head smash your bath hey kendra oh my gosh i'm so glad you're here if since you're here we can play smash or pass <laughs> all right guys so um so what do you think what do you think on this guy are we are we smashing or passing the sin spawn gui he's got a weird little snaky head going on definitely not into the hand into the uh hands there Oh, stream is muted, but I have the thing on closed. Oh, fabulous. Oh, I'm so glad someone's using the closed captioning. Oh, that makes me so happy. That I can hear, eh? 
Yeah, you definitely want to hit him right after he does that. So we're actually going to bring in Kimari because he can still lance it. And then we can hit the head. Because if you don't, he does this venom thing on you and it like it's so annoying. It gives status effects. It hurts like hell. It's awful. So you want that head to stop moving. No twitching head. No twitching head. <laughs> and we just keep whacking him in the face over and over. You're passing. Yeah, um, I, I basically, I pass on this one. I don't know. Um, not that into it. Yeah, it, the pinchy hands. The pinchy hands, I, I can't. I can't abide by that. Alright, come on, Oren. Oh, he got lucky on the first one with a crit, but usually it takes him two hits to kill that hand. The neck armor plates... Oh, he does have neck armor plates. I guess I never really paid attention. I guess when I look up there, I'm so, like, focused on, like, the squiggly, like, legs on his back or something. They're, like, centipede legs, but he doesn't use them to walk. I, I don't know. It makes no sense, but whatever. It's Final Fantasy. Nothing makes sense. All right. And the other thing that we want to do is now that his middle is exposed... We want to use, where is it? Power break. That'll make him hurt less when he actually comes up and, like, punches you. <clears throat> Alright, come on, Waka. Take the head out. This is actually what I feel like is kind of the first, kind of, sort of challenging boss in the game. If you don't really get the mechanic very quickly, he can destroy you, like, real fast. Um, let's go ahead. Let's Fury, now that we've got the arms gone. Circle technique! Circle technique! Circle technique! <sighs> I was trained. Trained by the original Mario Party for that. Yeah, this thing is really bad. I'm uh, definitely not into it. Ooh, I need, to, I need to bring in Yuna for some heals. Let's see. You can't die, Lulu. No! Uh, let's see. Come on, Waka. You gotta hit him in the face. Oh, face. Boom. Yeah, he's, uh, he's gross and squiggly, I think. For sure. Definitely in the past category. I feel like Final Fantasy, especially Final Fantasy X, is really good at making, like, weird-looking monsters. Um, not so much at making sexy monsters, you know what I'm saying? I definitely feel like it's, it's like that, you know? Dang it. Almost. Almost got the three. That's okay. Boom! Okay, the head's not got too much more HP. Maybe a couple more hits and... The head will be gone. <clears throat> and then we can actually concentrate on killing him. Ooh. Demi is so annoying. It can't kill you, but it like takes off the percentage of the health, so it's like really frustrating. No, the arms regenerated. Okay, come on, Orin. Take out his hands. Goodbye, hands. Okay, one more spell from Lulu and that head will definitely be dead. There we go. Okay. Um, bye. Oh, that should have got the arm. Okay, it did get the arm. I thought for a second it didn't. I was like, no, that don't make no sense. Okay, Walker, we don't need you anymore. Um, let's get... Titus back in here. And let's white magic. Let's haste Lulu. She's always does a lot of damage. Lulu is like the badass of this game, I swear. She's always the best. You should use her on like every freaking boss battle. She's amazing. Oh, uh, we need some heals. We need some heals from Yuna. Heal up Titus. And I guess she can heal up Yuna and we'll switch back with Orin. Rude, Demi. 
Another thing, I didn't do this, or I didn't show off doing this, but you can kind of see it here. So Lulu with her magic, she can attack the middle even if the arms are still like messed up, or the arms are still there. So that's something that you can do as well. Oh, I shouldn't have attacked with Titus there because he doesn't have piercing. So that's why his damage was so low. Yeah, miss. Swing and a miss. Okay, let's cure up Lulu. And then I can put Orin back in the party. Go ahead. Titus is kind of useless at the moment. I like to use water on him because he casts lightning, but he doesn't actually have any elemental strengths or weaknesses. That's just kind of like aesthetic for me because they counter each other. Mood boards. Yes, mood boards. Oh my gosh. Is Summer in here? Summer's the best at mood boards. Yeah, I had kind of forgotten about mood boards too, you know? It wasn't really, it's not really like a top of mind thing for Discord roleplay. But now that, you know, we've got people making them, I feel like Summer basically started that. It's like, I remember how beautiful they are. I was so excited this morning <laughs> to see Naomi made one for Varen. It was so pretty. And I love how it's like, you know, all red. Because Victor's got the lava, right? And then Aaron has her red hair. So it looks like really beautiful and fiery. Okay, I need to pay more attention. I'm letting my people get low, low, low. Or get low, 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 low. Oh, comrade, yay. That's good. We'll need to switch her overdrive over to that when we get a chance. Yeah, I'm so in love too. Like, it's just like, it's so amazing. <laughs> it's so amazing to see like mood boards again. That is one thing I miss about Tumblr RP for sure, is the amount of like graphical effort that went into a lot of people's role plays. And, um, you know, that's just unfortunately not something you really do with Discord. Oh, don't kill her. <gasps> Thank God. <laughs> she almost died it. <laughs> but she didn't. Okay. Let's cure her. And then... Okay, I'm actually going to switch in Titus. And we're going to haste up Yuna. There we go. Alright, Horan, get them arms. Get them arms! Let's see. Yeah, she can cure herself again. Haste is so cheatery in this game. But I love it. I love using it. Oh, he has overdrive. I can say. Yeah, let's do it. Attack everything! Yes! I always get nervous because I'm not very good with my learn knowing my left from my right. I always get nervous on like his overdrives that I'm gonna press like right left instead of left right or something like that. <laughs> Little minor anxieties that I have whenever his uh, whenever it's time to do Orin's overdrive. <laughs> okay, let's do Titus's too. Oh no, it's pointless. It's pointless to do Titus's. Uh, we'll bring him back in a second. Oh no, let's actually Mari and get the arm. Bye. Get out of here. No more covering up for you, Sin Spawn Gui. Alright. Now we can do Titus's overdrive. Yeah. Dang it! I messed it. Oh well. Oh, I don't think Kimari is hasted. Did Titus ever haste himself? Did I ever have Titus haste himself? No, I didn't. Haste yourself, boy. That makes everyone faster. Boom. <laughs> 
Yeah, Kendra, you should ask um you should ask Summer to make you a mood board, I feel like. They're so good, you know? Also, I would love to see that. Oh, he's out of MP. Okay. Well, anyways, let's get Yuna back for some heals. Also, because I just want more and more mood boards, you know? <laughs> so we should all make requests uh, for her and Bree and Naomi, since they're the ones that are really good at making them. Lar! Are there chocobos anywhere? Um, we will see chocobos today. We will see chocobos today. We saw a lot of chocobos, um, last episode. That was where we actually got to ride a chocobo, but we'll see some more. We'll see some more this episode. I'll point them out to you, Lar. Oh, man. You need to go watch, um, the VOD from last time, then. Oh, shit. There you go, Lar. Uh-oh. Music got real quiet, guys. They're not really hurting it. It's just sending its babies to attack. Oh shit. Bye everybody. When I'm playing by myself, I tear up real bad right at that spot where you see all the people go into like the little black specks, like poof. Stand back, Lady Yuna. <gasps> yes. It's not dead. Okay, we gotta kill it for real this time. I'm gonna show y'all something. I'm gonna show y'all something, okay? So, it's gonna make the battle take a while, but it's worth it. This is the one and only time you get to play with Seymour, and I'm gonna make his, um... I'm gonna make his, uh, his overdrive happen so you guys can see what his overdrive looks like. So, we're just gonna really just heal up. Pretty much. Like, I don't think... Yeah, we'll just have her pray every time. He has a really cool overdrive. And this is the only chance you get to see it. If you don't get it to happen here, then uh, you don't ever see it. We'll go ahead. Let's do this. We'll kill the arms. We'll kill the arms and the head because who wants to do all that? But there's really no strategy. Like you saw, he killed the head in one hit. Like, there's no strategy to this part, because, like, Seymour can basically take anything. He's strong as hail. Goodbye, arm. So you can really do whatever you want this fight, and the monster will die. But what we're going to choose to do... Let's see. I don't want him... I think his overdrive goes up less if I have him blocking, so we're not going to do that. We're going to have him healing. He can just keep healing himself, or if anybody needs more HP. Oh, no, I feel like his overdrive went up just as much when he was... as when he was blocking, so maybe he can block and it's fine. Alright, Orin, take care of that other arm for us. Thank you. And... That, do 
that. I'm pressing triangle, by the way, just to get them to block. It's basically how you kind of like skip turns, sort of. Let's go ahead. Let's still power break it. There you go. Now it won't hit so dang hard. Rude. Lara, what have you been up to lately? I feel like it's been a minute since you've had a chance to catch the stream. Uh, so I've missed you on here. Oh, Aaron needs a cure. The arms come back too fast. Go away again. I'm getting some good crits this battle. Life's been busy, work stuff, and lots of self-care. Oh, well, I hope that it's been, um, it's been nice self-care. You know, that you've gotten some good stuff out of it. That it's not been like, you know, sometimes self-care is very painful. <laughs> sometimes it's like, you know, um, doing the hard stuff that you don't want to do. So I hope it's been nice self-care that you've enjoyed. <laughs> Does anybody else need heals? Yeah, I guess Timor can have some heals. Heal himself. And pray. I love using the pray skill, it's so good. Good stuff, but hard stuff. Oh, okay, so a little bit of both. Oh, I like that. I guess that's really the best situation, right? When it's kind of like difficult, but then you do it, and then it's like, oh, that feels so much better. Now that I did the hard thing. We had, for dinner tonight, we had some Taco Bell. For those of you guys that don't know, if you like those $5 like Taco Bell boxes that they do, right now they've got an online promotion going on where you can build your own box. So you put your items in there of whatever you choose, but you gotta do it on their app, on their um, online ordering. And it's still the $5 Crave box, but you choose the items. That's what we did for dinner tonight. And it was like, it was so freaking good. I had never used uh, Taco Bell's app before, so I really kind of didn't know what to expect. But basically we like ordered and then went there. And then while, when we got up to the speaker thingy, gave them the name and that was all we had to do. And then we went around the drive-thru like regular. So I got in my box a chalupa and the, the burrito thingy, whatever they're called. It's like kind of, it's a fancy burrito of some sort. I can't remember what exactly it's called. And, uh, and then some Cine Twists. And then Levi got in his a crunch wrap and the burrito and some nachos. So we could all pick our own. I really, really enjoyed that. But apparently it's limited time. Or it's probably limited time. I don't actually know. They haven't said when it's going away. But you know when they have deals like that, they tend to only be there for a certain amount of time. Oh, I should have attacked the arms. I forgot the arms regenerated. We gotta get rid of those guys. So that's why I have this this freezy thing right here, blue raspberry freezy. You definitely should. I mean, most of the time when we go to Taco Bell, we get those boxes, but you don't get to choose what's in it. So since you're choosing what's in it, uh, it was really fun. Definitely recommend. Been trying to cook more. Yeah, um, we cook. I mean, we cook a lot. Mochi, hey, how's it going? Yeah, when Taco Bell's fresh, it's really freaking good. Love it. We do cook. I mean, this was this was the only night this week that we didn't cook, was we got some Taco Bell. Although I don't think we're going to cook tomorrow night either. We're probably going to order some pizza or something, because BlizzCon is tomorrow, so we're going to be watching that. So Levi's probably not going to want to cook. But definitely the few times that we don't cook, Taco Bell is one of our, is one of our places that we'd like to go to. Oh, that's good to hear. <clears throat> that is good to hear. I feel like I have seen you in streams, but um, but you've been lurking lately, which is awesome. I really, really appreciate when you guys come in and uh, and lurk in the streams. It helps the numbers, even if you can't like fully hang out, you know, to just keep the stream open. There's not a lot of discoverability on Twitch, but <laughs> there's a tiny bit. So coming and lurking in the streams really, really helps with all that good stuff. Getting closer. Getting closer on his... 
overdrive. Anybody? Yeah, let's heal him. Pizza, yeah! <laughs> Lunar is so funny. You you love pizza so much. Every time that I have pizza um, or think of pizza, I always think about Lunar a little bit. Like, oh, Lunar would like this dinner. <laughs> yeah, I'm a lurker. Yeah, I can. Um, I see you in there, and I really, really appreciate that. Oh, you had pizza today. What do you get on your pizza when you get it, Mochi? What's your pizza order? We usually get, I think pepperoni and mushroom is probably the standard for, for our house. If we don't want to spend a lot of time deciding what kind of pizza we want, then we get pepperoni mushroom. Pineapple and ham. Oh, that is one of my favorites. Um, but nobody else in the house is a huge fan. I mean, they'll eat it, right? Like Levi and Jeff, they will eat pineapple pizza, but it's not their choice, right? Like it's not their favorite. But I love me a pineapple pizza. It's so good. I think I was conditioned to like pineapple pizza because as a kid, one of the like, you know, kid, kid sides <laughs> that my parents would, um, that would make, that both me and my sister would eat I wasn't a picky eater, but she was a little bit of a picky eater. Um, was cheesy, was pineapples and cheese. So I don't even know exactly how she made it, but it was basically like just pineapples and cheese. Like that's all it was, melted cheese and pineapples. And it was really freaking good. It was like salty sweet. Working on my YouTube channel and try to get help, discovery help with Twitch. Cause like you said, there's no discovery. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Um, my understanding is definitely that having a YouTube channel and driving people to Twitch through your YouTube channel will help with the Twitch discoverability. I mean, I did YouTube first and definitely the first couple of people that came over to watch the Twitch streams were, it was basically two categories of people. My friends, <laughs> my friends, you know, um, <laughs> and then people from the YouTube channel. That's basically who came over. Uh, I don't, there's really not been a lot of people that like found me on Twitch. There's been a few um, that I know of that, that found Twitch and then went to the YouTube, you know? But it's really more the other way around. It's really more the other way around where people found YouTube and then they went to the Twitch from the YouTube. All right, just hit Seymour one more time. Hit me, baby, one more time. There we go, there we go, okay. Y'all ready? It's called Requiem. This is Seymour's Overdrive. Only ch time in the game you can see this. Seymour is so dark and brooding, y'all. Like, how cool was that? Alright. Uh, not quite yet. Let's... Uh, let's do... How much does it damage does his magic do? Oh, uh, kind of a lot. Okay. We're gonna get an overkill. I'm gonna get an overkill on him, y'all. Well, I said that. What's it? 2,000? And that's enough, but now I gotta... Now I gotta take care of the arms. Okay, let's kill the arms again. And then... We will summon and get an overkill. I can't remember what you get from this boss for overkilling. Denny again. Such an annoying freaking spell. Alright. I'm just gonna wait for it to roll back around to Yuna. And then we can summon. Do grand summon. And kill it! Kill it for realsies. Alright. Come on, Valifor. It should do enough damage to get that. Overkill. I like the music here, too. It's really good. Alrighty. Energy Blast. Whip that hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. Pew! 
Now he's dead. For reals this time. Found you on YouTube too. Yeah. Oh, Mochi, that's cool. I actually wasn't sure about you for for sure, but Lunar, I know you found the YouTube first because you had come into the into the um Discord from there. Look at all these sphere levels I got for Seymour. I got all of these for him. And I never get, and you never get to use them after this. <gasps> yes, it is. Oh my gosh. So I talked about that at the very beginning of the stream. I don't think you were logged in yet. Yes, it is this Saturday. I'm so excited, you guys. Like, ridiculously freaking excited. Um, what I was saying at the beginning, well, we'll watch the cutscene first and then I'll, we'll talk about it. Let's get serious, y'all. Here it comes. The big Albed Machina. Can it do it? It didn't work, y'all. The Machina didn't work. Maltitus survived? But it looks like the Crusaders did not. Okay, let's, uh, let's see what's going on. Slightly warm, but no sign of breathing. Staring at the sky, lifeless. Reclining, breathless. Instant, painless death. What's going on? Why? What? What's going on? You run away from me. Everyone, stand back. I'll summon. You won't hurt it. <sighs> Your powers are still too weak. But I must do something. She gonna do it anyway. You can't. They're both trying so hard, even though there's nothing they can do. The 
I'm just gonna swim for it. I have no idea what I was thinking when I ran after Sin that day. Before I knew what I was doing, there I was, chasing him down like a thief at market. Maybe I was angry. Maybe I wanted to go home. I kept thinking of Xanarkand and my old man. Oh, the ghost people again. Whoa. Hit in the face. What? They say you don't practice anymore. That you're gonna One second, guys. Let them talk. I'm still the best. They say you're no good because you drink all the time. I can quit drinking whenever I want. Then do it now. What would you say? You just said you can't. <laughs> Tomorrow, maybe. Why not today? Why do today what you can leave for tomorrow? There he goes again, crying. <sighs> I thought I sensed my old man there. Bad dad. Somewhere. Or maybe it was just Sin's toxin playing tricks on my mind. <sighs> How many died today? People die and Yuna dances. When will she stop dancing? When will it stop? Yuna won't stop dancing. Not until Sin is gone. Those were my thoughts then. I think. You can't just dance when people die, Yuna. I see you're still here. Huh? Many stories ended here today. But yours goes on, I see. Cryptic, Orin. Sin had come and gone, but I remained here. Oh, okay. So Operation Meehan was an operation fail. They did not do it. A swift retreat. Satisfied? What do you mean? Those who turned from Yevon died, while the faithful live on. Hmm. The past ten years have changed you, I see. Yeah, a decade will do that. You do not look so well. But now, more than ever, you must be the people's strength, their confidence. Anyone else would be expected to show their sorrow. But you are a summoner. You are Spira's hope. Until sin is defeated, you must not relent. Do you understand? Yes. I understand. Are you afraid? What kind of question is that? Yeah. Take me as your pillar of strength. As Unaleska had her 
Lord Zeon. Mm. Lady Yuna, until next we meet. Farewell. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Seymour, you're creepy. Alright, what's up, Yuna? <laughs> Maesters are strict. Yeah, I don't think that's what he was going for exactly, but okay. Alright. Wow. You can't ignore the teachings. Yeah, that's pretty much what they set up. They set up for you to think that. More than half of our frontline soldiers perished. Yeah, but we saved Gata. So the reason why he was the start of that cutscene that we watch was because y'all told him to not go on the front lines and to stay doing the job he was assigned. If you had told him to go on the front lines, he would have died too. Mari still not talk to me. Rest while you can. We leave soon. You leave when I say you leave. I'm the main character. Okay. I think that's Set oh no, one more. Is checked. Yeah. For a while there, I thought I could feel him. But that doesn't mean I believe you. Sin is checked. He came here for you. Then always comes for a spawn. So he killed all those people just for a chance to see me? That's what Sin does. He wanted to show that to you. Do you know why? How am I supposed to know? So you would kill him. As long as he is Sin, Jekt will keep killing. He wants you to stop him. You gotta be kidding. How do you know all of this anyway? That's so much to put on your son's shoulders. He's still out there being a bad dad. I'm not done talking to you! Don't you run away! You're the one running. Okay. Let's refresh at the save sphere. We don't actually need to save. Alright, I'm gonna do my sphere grid real quick, and while I do that, Lara, I will answer your question about the party. Yes! Oh my god, I am so freaking excited. This Saturday, we are going to be having our 100 follower party, and it's gonna be all party games, and we're gonna do giveaways, and it's gonna be so much fun. Like, I am kind of blown away that it's been only like eight months and we've already reached 100 followers on here considering that twitch has basically no discoverability so i had no idea what to expect when i started streaming i just knew that i needed a way and i needed a platform to do something that wasn't like scripted to do something where i could include people other than myself you know things like that right so that's all i was really thinking about when i started streaming I wasn't really thinking about like growing it or anything like that like I figured oh if no one watches it doesn't matter because I'm gonna put the VODs on my channel and there'll be videos on my channel you know because at that time the I was only conceptualizing like doing uh doing something on Saturdays right like that first stream that I did where I played Viva Pinata that was kind of an experiment to see if I could even stream at all but then like very quickly it turned into interstage window with Landon right for anybody that remembers <laughs> For anybody that remembers those first few streams that we did um and at that point we had like maybe maybe like two people coming right like uh landon was of course in the chat so she would be like one of the people oh no i don't have any ability spheres no i'll have to get some okay but like there was like nobody actually watching it would be like maybe naomi would log in <laughs> you know and that would be it right um, so I really didn't think anything of like streaming as a platform at the time, but obviously my mind has changed because I started this Thursday stream where we're doing a bunch of other different stuff, um, you know, and things like that. And because Interstage Window has really come into its own and is this whole thing now. So yeah, I'm very, very excited to have the hundred followers and I really want to, you know, want to do something for you guys and have fun and a, and a time to really like hang out with you guys. So Laura, I hope you're able to make it to some of it. Um, I know your schedule is really packed, so, yeah. I wasn't supposed to end like this. I'm lucky to be alive. Water. I think that's what Belgamine's- I mean, not Belgamine, Shalinda. Are you alright? Uh, please heal us. Hold still. We don't need it, but it's nice to let people do things for you. It makes them feel good. 
I think Among Us is the only one I'll be able to join, and I've never played it before. Oh, don't worry. We are, like, the chillest Among Us. Um, no fighting is allowed. Uh, no underhanded bullshit. You know. It is ridiculously chill. Mochi can tell you. Because Mochi and Kai will play with us, and they don't even come into the VC or anything. And they play with us just fine. She's awful. She must be. She must shine bright. Huh? He talks. Now are dark times. Yuna tries hard. We should help her then. If we worry, she tries harder. Do not frown. Don't worry, be happy. Kimari try to. Smile, let me see. <laughs> he can't do it. His cat face can't smile. I'm still thinking about trying to drink way too much coffee and stay up for the later games, but I work at 4 a.m. the next morning, so it's not the best idea. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I might have to have a coffee partway through myself. The Crusaders have been ordered to regroup at Jose Temple. Not that many left to regroup, but yeah, well, that sucks. Okay, we're gonna. Let's go ahead and save here because we're about to fight, fight, fight. Yes, we're going to overwrite that. Okay, here we go. There's a primer somewhere around here. That's it. I got to remember where it is. It's like around one of these pillars. That's a bad plan, my friend. <laughs> well, Lar, um, no peer pressure or anything. But I'm just saying, like, we're hella fun. Um, and I think it would be worth it. It's not like... We, we have a lot of these type of parties. I mean, it's not like a common thing that we're going to do. So I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, let's attack that. Smash the lizard. Oh, smash the lizard? Do you, do you mean the big lizard or the little lizard, Kendra? I want an excuse to buy ultimate chicken horse. Yes, please! Um, I asked, you know, all of the, all of the usual suspects and most people do not have that game, so I'm a little bit nervous that it's just going to be me and Sasha playing. Which, if it is, that's fine. You know what I mean? Like, if it is, that's fine. But, <laughs> I would really love to have another one or two people with Ultimate Chicken Horse. I think that would be so much better. And I have never played that game. I don't know how to play it. So, um, I know I'm going to be really bad at first, but that's just going to make it extra fun. All right, let's get some more ability spears. I have no idea what that even. Oh, ultimate chicken horse. Oh yeah, Kendra, <laughs> you are on. You're on closed captioning still. I bet. Um, ultimate chicken horse was uh, Sasha's pick for a game because she's gonna help me run the giveaway. So I told her to um, please choose one of the games and we and put it in a time slot that she can attend. So that's what she wanted. She said she really wanted to play that and show that to me. Um, I never have played it. I don't know anything about it other than it's like a platformer kind of, sort of. I'm not 100% clear, but, um, but she really likes it and thinks it's an awesome game. Hey, welcome, um, Alarith? Alarith? I don't, is that how you say your name? Tell me if that's how you say your name. What am I running from? What am I running from, Kendra? I'm running from Sasha? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I need to run from Sasha. It'll be fine. She said she would teach me, so. <laughs> no. No, I think it'll be fine. It'll be fine. She'll teach me how to play it. I don't think I'll run. I'm gonna tough it out. Alright, let's kill this freaking pollinator. Goodbye. All right, cool. Well, welcome to the stream. Happy to see you here. Um, we we're just talking about our 100 follower party that we're having on Saturday. So sorry if the conversation is a little confusing. Um, we are getting together and doing that on Saturday because I just recently this past week hit 100 followers. <laughs> oh, Lar. Okay, here we go. Here's some here's some good possible um, smash and pass monsters. Uh, Kendra, how do you feel about each of these? We've got Wolf Guy, we've got uh, Blizzard Slime, and we've got Rock with 
I guess eggs on its back. I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, smash the wolf. The rest, um, no, no way. That slime is way too cold, so we're not about that. Even though we were definitely smash on the water slime. And, um, the egg back weirds me out, so we're not about that either. I try <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, she was very down to help me with the giveaway, so I very, very much appreciate all of that. Smash the goo. Even though it's blizzard goo, um, Kendra, still, you would still smash. That's what's holding me back on this one. It's the cold goo. Um, I feel like that would be very uncomfortable. But I'm also somebody who cannot handle being cold. Like, even in the slightest. Like, these past, these past couple of weeks where it's been so freaking stupid, ridiculously cold, I'm, like, very unhappy about that. Where is it? There it is. Haha. -ha. Yes, Albed. Primer. G to K. Yay, and a new rank. Fabulous. We've decided to rest at the temple. I just hope they let us. We've been excommunicated after all. They might throw us out. I mean, they might. Oh, I almost forgot. There are fiends that petrify humans. Wear this. It should help. Oh, sweet. Let's put this on, actually. Let's go do that right now. Ah, uh, soft ring. Yes, give me that stone proof. At least someone will have stone proof. As followers of Yevon, we believe in aiding all those who are wounded, even the excommunicated crusaders. They have suffered so much, I believe the time has come to welcome them back. Aw, oh, that's nice of you. May Yevon's blessing be with you. Hi, Potion. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. We've been getting snow every couple of days up my way. Yeah, it's not been quite cold enough um, here for snow, right? Um, we're a little bit too... I'm a little bit too far south for that, but... It has still been like rain, rain, rain every freaking day. Rain, cold rain. And it's made it really hard to keep the house warm and um, and all of that good stuff. Uh, it's been a chore and a half. <clears throat> horror, stories, uh, horror stories about snow so far this year. Yeah. Um, Alla, Allerinth? Sorry, still learning the name. Allerinth. Um, hopefully you're not in one of those places that's being affected by the snow. It's really, really bad in some places. Um, Texas especially, they're not prepared in that part of the country for snow. And so it's been just like freaking awful for them. I can't even imagine. There's this girl um, at work that we sometimes do projects with who lives out in Dallas. And we had some meetings this week that we had to postpone because her power was like really not reliable. Like we had a meeting for yesterday morning, I think it was. And we had to cancel it and move it because she just, she had no power. She was like, you know, this isn't, I can't get, I can't get on my computer. There's no internet. There's no power. Yeah, the electricity has been really, really whack. And I know some people have like been without water. Like I heard of a bunch of people that were using snow <laughs> to flush their toilets, right? Just like in, um, around here we have hurricanes, right? So what we would do is if there's like a really bad storm and that sort of thing, we would, uh, you would fill up your, you fill up your tub with water before the storm, right? That's how you do it. So they've been doing kind of a similar idea, but they've been going out and shoveling snow so they have water to flush. <laughs> uh, it's just a, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Um, and I was talking, I happened to be being, being a moderator for a meeting that the CEO was running the other day and before the meeting like before we went live when it was just me and a couple me and him and a couple other people we were talking about all of this stuff and about the infrastructure in Texas and how much help they needed and how like sad it was that their infrastructure was so jacked up that like their power grid can go down so easily we really really need to fix that in this country in lots of parts of this country Texas is just one recent example but there's Lots and lots of areas of our country that can do better with the infrastructure. My comrades are dead, all because we ignored the teachings, relying on forbidden no machina. What the heck were we thinking? Well, you were coerced. Um, this will hardly make amends, but I want the Lady Summoner to have this. Okay, but you were coerced. Like, the maester was there and everything, so you had no reason to think this wasn't going to work. We incurred heavy casualties in last year's Jose Coast defense operation, but even those losses don't compare to this. This is not the first time they've made this mistake. I found this line on the battlefield. Maybe it could be a use to you. Yay. This is why you got to talk to everybody in these games. They give you fun stuff. Oh, we haven't found that one enemy here. There's one enemy that I need um, to lance it from Kimari. 
Hopefully it'll pop up. All right, it's starting to let up in Texas. Is there an end in sight? Yes, apparently it is starting to let, let up. I heard that too. But the problem is, is so much snow fell in some areas and it's still very cold, even though there's not more snow falling, that it's been really difficult for a lot of people to, um, to kind of like get dig out, right? Because there's just no, like there's no salt trucks in, in that part of the country. People don't have snow shovels, you know, people just don't have the things that they need to, uh, to get out of the snow. So they're really like having to wait they're really like having to wait until the snow melts, um, which is going to be a little bit with how cold the temperatures have been. Yeah, the pipes aren't built for the weather down here. Right. Oh, the weather, that kind of weather, Kendra, at all. Not, yeah, not at all. The toddler. <laughs> Eliza. Yes, we remember the olden days back in 2005 when we had MySpace and LiveJournal. <laughs> And we dialed onto the internet on 56k modems. Okay, I think we got we got some more ability spheres now. Oh, I only got one. Oh, I need to get more. I keep forgetting. I need to farm some ability spheres. Use your ability. Oh, I don't need to go there. Yet. Okay, don't go there yet. I gotta get this one monster. Okay, we're gonna run and run in circles until we get the lancet for Kimari. And also get some more ability spheres. Alright, cure on Waka. I do miss the dial-up noise late at night. Me too, Kendra. Me too. It costs bits, um, but I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure it's still on there. I put um I put the a modem sound as one of the sound alerts <laughs> that you guys can do. Although I don't think anybody has used it yet. Um, but I did put it on there. <clears throat> because it just like I just I love the sound. I love the sound so much. Ooh, don't look so shocked. No, don't pollen me. What is it that y'all taught me? Um, mushrooms don't even do pollen. Funguses don't do pollen. They do spores. So its spell should be called spore. But it's not. It's called pollen. Oh my god. Wake up! What the hell? Wake up, guys! Okay, oh, Yuna's awake, thank god. Don't die. Oh, new overdrive modes. Sweet. Okay, <laughs> first thing we need to do is let's cure everybody up. There we go. Uh, and let's extract ability. There we go. Back when I can only use the internet for maybe 30 minutes at a time before the landline had to be used, the olden days. Yes! <laughs> the olden days when mom yelled at you to get off the internet because she was expecting a phone call. <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh! Rushing to feed your Neopets. My poor starving Neopets. The poor starving Neopets. What, uh, what, what are they doing now? Who knows, but they definitely don't have any omelets to eat. All right, come on. Do I have ability spheres for Lulu now? I have three. Yes. Okay. Fabulous. One, two, three. Okay. Now she has her second level of her magic. Yes. We're good there. All right. I just need to get that one monster. It usually doesn't take this long to pop up. Never played Neopets. What is it? <gasps> you never played Neopets? Lunar. I cannot believe it. It was like a whole thing. Never played Neopets either. How did y'all miss it? It was literally everywhere. I asked this question. I probably don't actually want the answer. Y'all gonna tell me like, oh, because I'm like, I'm like 22. That's why I never played Neopets. Because I was like five when it was out. <laughs> I don't know if that's really the answer. Um, but yeah, Neopets was basically this online game. It was just, it was just on the, on the internet, right? You didn't download anything. You didn't like, you just created an account and that was all that there was. So you would log in and you would get this animal creature thing. It was like just it was like a graphic, right? Like it was a piece of art. And you would um and you would if you just turned 30, I don't know how you missed Neopets Lunar. Um, but yeah, so you get you would have this animal and you would be responsible for playing with it and feeding it and leveling it up and all this fun stuff, right? And the way that you would do that was by playing mini games. So like they had a gajillion freaking mini games that you could play. 
And in addition to the mini games, you could collect various items. Like for example, paintbrushes was a huge thing. And, if, and paintbrushes are very hard to get and very expensive. But if you got paintbrushes, you could change the color of your Neopet to like really fancy, fancy stuff. Like there was a rainbow brush and a pastel brush and like a star brush, I'm pretty sure. Um, and people would go bonkers for those brushes. And that was Neopets. There it is. I was looking for the snake thing. Don't stone me. About to go make a new Neopets account because it's still going. I thought that, um, I thought that Scientologists bought Neopets. <laughs> and like, I know it, that it's still going, but like, I'm not, I'm not so sure about like, if you should make an account there. <laughs> Neopets is being optimized for mobile. Still being optimized? Like it hasn't been already? No, two of them are stoned. Oh my God. Wake up, friends. Wake up. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Don't die. Don't die. Okay, here we go. Asuna. Asuna Titus. And let's get Kimari in here to lance it. I hate fighting these things, but that's how you get stone breath. Alright, Asuna. Orin. Come back to us. Okay. Kill that guy. They've been saying for years they're going to expand to mobile. <laughs> Oh, so it's like one of those things. So it's never going to happen. <laughs> allow me. Okay, I will allow you. Okay, let's ice Let him. Ice. Lulu's so cool. So many childhood memories lost. Yeah. So I never actually role-played on Neopets. Um, but I definitely played Neopets, right? I just didn't actually role-play on there. Um, I knew roleplay boards were there, but I just preferred other platforms at the time. I was really way more into like doing chat room roleplays at that time. So it just never, it, I never really caught on to it. Hell yeah. Don't try to stone Yuna, she is immune. Actually, let's do this. Mirawaka. Let's do extractability. There we go. And then... Die. That's right. Good evasion, Lulu. Good evasion. Get Kamari out here. Boom. Need a light? Yes, I do need a light. Thank you. Overkill. The web infrastructure and database must be so old. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you'd need to start from the ground up and just sort of redo Neopets if you really wanted to, like, mobile optimize it. You just need to make a whole new game, you know what I mean? Like, there's no point. There's no point. All right. Here we go. Hey! How much longer till Xanarkin? Still a ways. First down the moon flow to the Guado city of Guado Salam. Then we cross the Thunder Plains to the Temple of Makalania. Oh, boy. <laughs> and before that, we get to pray at the temple in Jose. Jose. We can't just skip all that, can we? Huh? Mm -mm. I have to pray to the faith in every temple in order to earn the final Aeon. That's a summoner's training. She's got to prepare mind and body, all just to get ready for the final summoning. Hmm. Must be tough, Yuna. <laughs> I'll be fine with you here. Oh, He's so nice. We stand. All right, let's go. Hey, new guy. Me? What, Oren? Who else? What can I do for you, boss? Don't tell Yuna you know about Sin and Jet. Huh? 
You know her. She would distance herself from you. We do not want that. I see. I think. Yeah, but even if I did say something, no one believed me, you know? Yuna would. Right. Ah, you have a point. Come to think of it, did I really have to know about Jet? What about my feelings? <laughs> Better than you finding out at a critical moment, becoming emotional. What? Me? Emotional? Hey, Titus, you're never emo. I heard you were quite the crybaby. Yeah, he was a kid. Maybe when I was a kid. <laughs> maybe even a little now. Just a little. Hey, I still don't buy your story, you hear? That's right. Titus has reason to cry. Look at the little monkeys! Little hop hop monkeys! This game has giant cats and giant dogs, but little tiny tiny monkeys. Don't you just point? Use your words, Kimari. Yuna, it is good to see you and your companions are well. Loris, another chocobo. Yourselves as well, Captain. We were worried. Praise be to Yevon. Uh, we escaped with our lives, but our troops were decimated. Of all our chocobos, only this one made it. We make pretty poor chocobo mounted forces without chocobos. We turned our backs on the teachings and cast away our faith. This, this is our just reward. You were coerced. They were coerced, right? Like... Just you know, but don't worry. We're here for you. So many died in vain. It was a mistake. Like, the maester was there making it seem like it would be fine. Never have ignored the teachings. Gosh. I hate this for them. Is that the Jose Temple? I always forget that's not a cutscene right there. It looks like one's about to start, but you actually have to go forward a little bit more. <laughs> I do that every freaking time. Awesome. So cool. You'll be thinking of good lightning pony names. Because when we get them, I'm going to ask. It only opens when a summoner is addressing the fate. That means another summoner's already in there. Another summoner? What if it's Donna? We have to hurry. Right. In we go. In we go. I think... Can I do anything before? Yeah, all the beds are taken. Yeah, um, do you have anything worth buying? I don't think she does, but... Yeah, these are all very basic. Basic, basic, basic. I don't want any of this. Do you have anything? The wounded are fighting to stay in this world. We've done all we can, they must not be disturbed. But you have a chest behind you! Gosh, let me have it! I think there's a chest over here, yeah. Ability spheres! I needed you! Thank you! I wish I had got, got into the hobby earlier. Hey, there is no, no, um, there's no lateness in roleplay. You can start anytime you want. One of my favorite roleplay partners and a very close friend of mine didn't start until, like, late in college. Um, and, uh, and she still roleplays. Pray for those fallen in battle. But how? How can I enter the temple after what we have done? Don't let that guilt get to you, Lucille. I've been thinking about the future. Hmm. The monks said we could stay here for a while. Yeah, so go ahead and stay. It's okay. Oh. Oh no. I didn't talk to Gata. I forgot he was there. I just saw him at the last second. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I can't go out now. Dang it. Oh well, we'll talk to him after. So you're a champion of Yevon now, Braska? Hmm. I beg your pardon, but may I ask your name? I am Summoner Yuna, from the Isle of Bisset. A 
as I thought. The daughter of Lord Braska. You have the look of your father. My father? You knew him? No. I have never met the man. Ah, my apologies. I am Isaru. Hey, Isaru. I am a summoner, like you. I'm Fasi. Pleased to meet you. And I'm Moroda. I'm guarding my big brother here. Since I was a child, I've always looked up to Lord Braska. I wished I would someday become a high summoner like he was. You must have some of your father's talent in you. I believe you might someday defeat Sin. Thanks, Isaru. I... I'm not really. I've only just become a summoner. Of course, I've no intention of losing either. So perhaps we should race to see who can defeat Sin first, no? Okay, let's go. Oh, very well then. I accept your challenge. Isaru! Yuna, I beg your leave. Good luck to both of us. Yes. Thanks, Cesario. Oh, so he brought his brothers along as his guardians. That's interesting. I think there's... Oh, there's a chest to the side. I didn't grab it. But let's go talk to these people first. My chocobo, oh chocobo. Oh, Rest in peace. Oh my. We're out of funeral shrouds. Oh my gosh. Whoa. <gasps> Wabs, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you, thank you. We're at the very sad part. <laughs> the captain saved my life and got hurt. Oh, thank you for the follow as well. Busy, busy. Yes, they're busy. Yevon's blessing has saved many crusaders from Sim's onslaught. Yes, they have disobeyed the teachings, but we cannot turn our backs on them. That's right, you can't. They were trying their best. Oh yeah, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate that, Wabs. You're the best. Ether. Did you get your nuclear reactor built? Or at least, I guess, get it started. You probably didn't finish building it in that amount of time. Mega Phoenix. We're all out of healing potions. Oh my gosh. Even so, more wounded men are being brought here. They're out of healing potions and funeral shrouds. This is the Temple of Yevon Jose. It's famous for its association with Lord Meehan, founder of the Crusaders. He had witnessed the dreadful sight. Oh, I could just imagine his grief. Yeah. Nah, built a pretty sturdy wall. Oh, good. Well, you gotta start with that. Captain, please wake up. Captain is... sleeping. You were the best, Captain. We'll never forget you. Yeah. Oh. Two, in fact. Two walls. Oh my gosh. Two is more than one. So, that's a lot of walls. Hey, you. Me? You are Yuna's guardian, no? That's right. Moroda's heard a curious rumor. I thought you should know. I heard it from those crusaders. Hmm. Seems that summoners have been going out on pilgrimage and just disappearing. Uh-oh. It could just be that fiends got them, but not so many so quickly. That's suspicious. Sorry I don't know more, but watch your back. Okay. Ain't much future for a guardian without a summoner, eh? What? What? What you all talking about? We're talking about doing your job as a guardian. It feels kind of wrong to have a child for a guardian, okay? Right, big brother? Like having that kid Please fight fiends. Careful. I don't know about that. Will do. Passe. Oh, what? We're leaving. Be right there. Bye guys. See ya. Two walls and a ceiling short of a room. Hell yeah. The Cloister of Trials. Yes, we're ready. It's puzzle time, guys. I'm gonna test my memory again for these puzzles. Right. I've done them a gajillion right. times, so it should be easy. But they do get harder. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Are you gonna build more on your reactor? Um, 
Tomorrow then? Wabs? Okay, so I gotta take these guys. I'm pretty sure I put them in here because that's the only thing I can do in this room. Potentially, or might go for a fly. Oh, okay. Yeah, you've been doing your um, your flying. Yeah, insert. You've been doing your flying stream so early in the morning. It's so funny. <laughs> uh, I'm still sleeping. I'm pretty sure, but I see the notifications when I get up. You know, but it's too late. <laughs> oh, Hong Kong. Oh, wow. Did it look cool? I bet it looked really cool because it's, it's such a big city. All right, so I think I've I've got. Okay. That's over here. Okay, that's over. Okay, here we go. I need this guy. We basically have to make that symbol in the middle of the floor. Got two holes over here. It was pretty cool, but I was in a hurry to get some lunch. Oh, yeah. Streaming while hungry is not fun. <laughs> uh, when, we do, when we do the 12-hour stream on Saturday... We're gonna have to, I don't know, I guess I'll just eat on stream. Cause I know I'm gonna get hungry around dinner time. So I guess we'll just, we'll have the, we'll have dinner on stream. There we go. Let me charge that up. <laughs> don't be hungover. Yes, oh my gosh. Oh, so y'all don't, y'all probably don't know. Um, The people that are, that are not in the wolves den that I joined don't know. So part of what inspired me, I knew I wanted to do something for 100 followers, but part of what inspired me to have the party on Saturday is that I watched um, Wabs have a 100 follower, 12 hour stream thing. And um, and the poor guy, oh my God, y'all, he did it hungover. <laughs> and I just thought like, oh, if somebody can do it hungover, I could do that. Thumper, hey, oh my gosh. I missed you at the beginning of the stream today. Were you busy at work? Did you get held up? Is that what I was supposed to do? Mm. Oh no, I was supposed to put the charged one in there. Okay, this needs to go here. This is what I'm supposed to do. Get in there. And then the charged one goes in the door. And the other one goes in the pedestal. Still working. Oh no, are you on call? Is that what's going on, Thumper? I never I never liked being on call. When I was doing software support, not the whole time I was doing software support, but when I was doing it for um, the website software, because it was people's websites where they were taking donations, we had a phone and sometimes you would get like the phone that week. I can only think of a tiny handful of times that people called for things that were like legit, you know? It was usually stuff that's like, this can't wait till tomorrow. Really, this can't wait till tomorrow. Or on the weekends, it'll be like, this can't wait until Monday. <laughs> Most of the time, it could totally wait, you know? Um, every once in a while, there was, like, a legit emergency that we would have to handle. And uh, and I would help them, and it was fine. But most of the time, they were waking me up. And, like, I swear, half the time, they would be like, I didn't even think anyone would answer. I thought I'd just leave a message for the next morning. And I was like, uh, and, like, you know, it's, like, 2 a.m. me having to call them back because they called. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh my gosh, someone called me back. I'm like, mm-hmm, someone whipped me up. <laughs> Makes my work laptop crawl like someone took a five iron to its... Oh, no. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, though. Like, I'm that kind of nerd. I do love me some spreadsheets. <laughs> how bad is that? Like, how bad is that? Okay, I think I take these and I put them back here. I think this is how I'm supposed to do it. Oh, I'm trying to remember. I hope I didn't jack it up. I think I might still be missing one. Yeah, I'm still missing one. Where, oh, where are you, Sphere? Perpetually on call. May have to field calls about my projects. Oh. Oh, I remember what. I take this out and I put it over there. I don't need that door anymore. That's right. I put this here. And there we go. Symbol complete. Whee! 
Whee! Now we can go up, up, up. Oh yeah, that's right. You're always on call, aren't you, Thumper? I don't know about that. I mean, you have a really cool job, though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's not my actual job at work, but most of the time I just help people with their computer and Excel problems. It's kind of fun in person. Yeah, honestly, like, I, I really liked doing software support. There was a lot, there was a lot to enjoy about it. But unfortunately, um... There's a there's only a certain amount people will pay for that type of job and I wanted to make more money so that's when I got into training and now I do educational work you know teaching adults various fun things and I love doing that like I wouldn't go back to software support after doing this at all I'm so glad I'm not in a people facing role <laughs> I think I always have been I can't I I don't think I've ever had a job that I didn't have to like interface with a lot of people you know whether it was customers or like lots of other employees or things like that. I think it's because our Excel sheets are all in SharePoints in the cloud. Oh, yeah, you're probably right, Thumper. Okay, so I push all those guys in. There's something else I'm supposed to do. Hang on. There's something else I'm supposed to do here. There's a destruction sphere. There's like... There's something with this. Do I just touch it? Is that all I'm supposed to do? There we go. I do love money. Yep. <clears throat> Need it to live, right? Need it to live. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Like, I really, I truly don't mind customer service, you know? <laughs> A lot of it's kind of fun. And there was one good thing about the phone job, right? The the phone job with customers is that once you hung up the phone, they were gone. <laughs> they were gone at that point. And, and you didn't have to, to look at their stupid faces anymore. And that was great. That is one thing about training. If you have like a particularly difficult um, person that you're working with, like they're your coworker and you have to see them every day after that. Stop uh, but I still deal. It's wait. fine. Orin, you say that, but me moving is what progresses the scenes. You should try to settle down. You know will be blamed if anything happens. Nothing's gonna happen, Lulu. We wait here. They all tell me to wait. Well, well, you again. Oh. Still trapped in the quiet crowd, I say. Oh, don't be rude. What is it, Bartello? You know this riffraff? You are. Orin, no. What of it? Can I shake your hand? <laughs> the himbo Arin. loves Aaron. No, Sir Aaron. You're the reason I became a guardian. Ah. <laughs> Good night, Wabs. Thank you for raiding. Thank you, sir. This means so much to me. Calling the personal guardian the Lord Brasco Riffraff? And you call yourself a summoner? Yeesh. Bartello, enough. Get back here. Hang in there, buddy. Hey? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I'll never wash this hand again. <laughs> Ah! Oh. Touch me with that hand, and I'll remove it. I love Bartello. He's the best, best himbo. Stop pacing around. Be calm and wait. Can't find the spell redemption to change the light colors. Ah! Uh, hang on. I might have accidentally turned it off because I was still messing with it. I'll turn it on. Give me one second, Lunar. I will turn it on for you. Come on. Let's see, where's the final points? Let's see. Uh, yeah, it looks like I did turn it off. Hang on. I will turn that on. There you go. Oh, see, the baby's off too. That shouldn't be off. Okay. Anyway, those are on now. So you should be able to see them. Let me know if you still can't, Lunar. 
quite the show, yeah? Not so good on the heart, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, Thumper, I'm so excited for the first person to use that. I'm so curious what it is that you'll, uh, you'll want your command to say. Like, what does exclamation Thumper mean? <laughs> you'll get to decide. Settle down. You know will be blamed if anything happens. Okay, guys, here we go. Pank! <laughs> now we've got Pank in the background. <clears throat> Pick spot. Shut up. Wait. Everyone says this, and the only way to progress this scene is to try to leave. Sir Oren too, and I hear Maester Seymour is quite taken with you. The world must look different when you're the daughter of Lord Braska. This has nothing to do with my father. I am traveling on my own as a full-fledged summoner. You tell her, Yuna. Oh, is that so? Then try standing on your own two legs for once. Your guardians won't be able to protect you when the time comes. Sleep time. Oh, you mean, um, you mean new sound alert? Oh yeah, that's right. I added in you can do your own sound alert too. So then the sound alert, add a new sound alert is only 2,000. Um, the get your own command is like an exclamation point. Like watch, like if I do this, um, if I type exclamation discord and it does that, that's what the command is. But a new sound alert, you only need 2k for that. Okay, guys, what should I name my lightning pony? What should I name my lightning pony, y'all? Ixion is his um, default name, but I feel like he could do another and uh, do with another one. We named Ifrit Snuggles. So what should we name our lightning pony? It, my little pony, my little pony. I can't think of a My Little Pony that has lightning, but I'm sure there is one. Cuddles. We've got Snuggles and Cuddles. Okay, we can do that. Let's, uh... Cuddles. Where's the U? Cuddles. Sir Zappington. Yeah, unfortunately that's too long. Yeah. No, let's go with Cuddles, because I think that matches Snuggles, right? Um, and I think it was, Thumper, you would pick Snuggles, right? So Lunar can pick Cuddles. I think that looks good. If we get another pet, do we name them Kisses? Oh, we can so name the next one Kisses, Thumper. Whenever we get to get to her, um, remind me. <laughs> that actually would fit her very well. We can get a few more. There's like two more required ones and I think several like optional ones that we can get. We miss talking to Gata. He was right here and he cries about how everyone left him. I'm sorry I missed that cutscene, guys. No matter how dark the night, morning always comes. It do, it do and our indeed. Journey begins anew. We're leaving once Yuna gets here. Yeah, I think you definitely have enough to request a sound. There we go. Now he's moved out the way of that chest. Ooh, switch hitter. What does that do? That sounds like a walker weapon. Oh, strength and strength. Whatever. Lame. Donna has left. Isaru too. Mm-hmm. Thumper, if you do have a um, spend your points on a sound, Get ready for the journey ahead. so I can only do paid ones right now, like all the free ones are taken up, but I'm pretty sure I can add one in that's like paid, but I can make the cost like zero bits. So if you request one, I'll just leave it zero bits for a while so you can get your use out of it um, for free since you requested it. So we can do it like that. Donna has left. Isaru too. Okay. Um, I think I have to go back. Yeah, I have to go back inside. They all left. Only we are here.
Oh, nope, other side. Wrong one. Wrong room, wrong room. We need this room over here. There she is. She was working until dawn. Healing the wounded. Sending the fallen. Okay. I guess I'll just let her sleep for now then. That's why they're still there and everyone else left because Yuna stayed up the latest working. Morning. What? Morning? Don't worry. But it's morning. It's morning. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I'll get ready right away. Just a moment. <laughs> Don't worry. It's okay. Yeah, mood for real thumper. Yo, sleepy head. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Really, there's no rush here. Your hair. <laughs> A summoner with bad hair. What's the world coming to? You could have woken me up. Uh, we called to you, but with all that snoring. <laughs> <gasps> today everyone's picking on me oh <laughs> <laughs> even Orin laughed once lady yuna fixes her hair we leave wow dad <laughs> i hadn't really laughed like that in a long time it was only later that i realized the only one really laughing then was me. Laughing must have been the only thing keeping them going. The Crusaders have fallen apart, so I'm going to help out with guard duty here at the temple for a while. It's the least I can do to repay them for taking us in. You can't defeat Sin with Machina. The summoners are our only hope. Yevon's teachings are the way. The Crusaders were fools. <laughs> Here, take this. I don't need it anymore. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Al Alorinth. Alorinth. I'm gonna learn your name better. The Crusaders deeply regret their actions. I believe it's time to put the past behind us and forgive them. Yevon shall forgive those who seek redemption. Should you need a place to recuperate, please return. You're always welcome here. Aw, oh, thanks. Hi, Potion. Times two. Chocobo! Oh, there's someone else to talk to. I beat myself up all night for taking part in that disastrous operation. Then a monk told me that if I had time for remorse, I should spend it praying. He's right. It's my duty to pray for my departed men. The monk gave me this, but I think you should have it. Thanks, dude. That monk is manipulating you, though. Is this the same guy? Yeah. Find solace. Yeah, hopefully they do. Off so early? Lady Yuna, you must be exhausted after working so hard last night. Will you be okay? <laughs> I feel that I have rested enough. But thank you for your kindness. Will yes, you thank be you. Leaving too? Yes. First we cross the moon flow, and then we head north in search of chocobos to replace those we have lost. Once we find chocobos, our mounted forces will ride again. Yeah. Huh? Aren't you missing someone? Captain, wait for me! No, don't leave Clasco. What took you so long? We're leaving. <sighs> you expect me to keep up with a chocobo? Lady Yuna, I wish you good fortune. Elma, Clasco, let's go. Ma'am. Hey, can I just rest a sec? No complaints. No complaints. Um, so what that's going to do for you, Thumper, is it's going to put you up towards the top of the list of people in the cafe. Where to next? It's a special role in there. Gotcha. Moonflow, baby, here we come. <laughs> 
Yeah, coming for the moon flow. Okay, I think this is where I want to stop, but there's no there's no save sphere here. Can I go back and save it the temple? I think yeah, it's going to let me. Sweet. It's the only way I'll be above Marina. <laughs> yep, that's true. So I would say if you're considering spending channel points, don't spend any more today because of the giveaway that we're doing on Saturday. So make sure you have channel points so that you can enter the giveaway plenty on Saturday because I want to make sure that the giveaway benefits the people that have been there hanging out in the stream the most. So I'm going to make those worth channel points. Little spoiler for you guys. Okay, let's go ahead and exit the game. So. Volume down. But that's not in the way. Okay, we are going to do some Pokemon. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. Okay, here we go. Whoa, the chat is all in the way. Hang on. Let's, uh, let's clear that. There we go. Okay. I have my 10k, but items. <laughs> yeah, so I think um, after the giveaway on Saturday, though, if you still have 10k, then then you should definitely go ahead and spend it so you can get that. But I just don't want you to miss out on as many giveaway slots as possible, especially for you, Thumper, because you were here all the freaking time, you know, you should definitely be having your entries for that. We are. Oh my gosh, we've made so much progress on this. Okay. So here we go. Let's open up our favorite handy dandy Pokemon website. This week we are going to look at some Gen 6. So are you doing Gen 6 right here? Let me make sure I switch it over to the, oh no, we do want Smart Table, but I want National Dex number there. Okay, so the first one that we are going to look at, we are going to look at flying. We haven't done a lot of flying types. So Flying types for this generation, the choices are Fletchling, Batline, um, Vivian. We already have Vivian in another slot, so we're not going to do that. Um, Hoalucha or Noibat. Oh, thank you so much for doing the gift sub, Lunar. So appreciate it. Hey, Thumper, you got a sub now. That means you won't get ads when you come onto the stream for the next month. So my favorite here of the flyers is the... Fletchender. So I'll show you guys what he looks like. Here we go. This little guy, this little bird. He looks like a little woodpecker sort of, but not a woodpecker, like woodpecker colors, but he runs clearly. Yeah, you're part of the... So actually, now you are up on the list. <laughs> now you are up on the list, Thumper, because um, if you have your Discord and your Twitch connected, then you'll be in the, in the Twitch subs in that list right below the patrons. Yes, Lar, this is definitely one you would like, this bird. Okay, let's read his entries. From its beak, it expels embers that set the tall grass on fire. Then it pounces on, its, on the bewildered prey that pop up out of the grass. The hotter the flame sack on its belly, the faster it can fly. But it takes some time to get the fire going. So here is the slot that he goes in right here. Flying for... Wait, where did it go? There we go. Flying for Gen 6. Is Gen 6 Kalos? Yes, I think Gen 6 is Kalos. It's um, whatever the one that comes after black and white. Uh, I love Gen 5, but I didn't play that much of this gen right here. I mean, I played it a little bit. I, I beat it once, but I'm not like in love with it. But I'm pretty sure it's Kalos. It's the one that comes after black and white, whatever that one is. Um, okay, so then the next one that we're going to look at, so let's minimize this, let's go back to this. All right, the next one we're going to look at is the fire types. And you all know by now that I've been paying attention to the Pokemon meme how I do for the fire types. But our choices are the Fennekin line, Fletchender also comes up here, and Talonflame. Um, Litleo, uh, his line, right? And, um, and then this is like a kind of legendary, so he doesn't count. But of course, I am such a stan for the fire starters, so we have to go with Fennekin. And Fennekin is definitely one of my favorites of the fire starters. Like, look at this thing. This adorable little Firefox, like, just is so freaking cute. How, like, how do you not want to squeeze this? It looks, it looks like, it looks like a little puppy. Adorable. All right, so for his entries, eating a twig fills it with energy. It's, and its roomy ears give vent to air hotter than 390 degrees Fahrenheit. As it walks, it munches on a twig, 
place in place of a snack. It intimidates opponents by puffing hot air out of its ears. It is Vivian. Thank you so much, Thumper. <laughs> uh, Fennekin's great in the anime too. You know, I watched the anime a lot in the in like the beginning, but that's of course when I was young, and I haven't actually watched the anime in years. I've watched lots of the movies, but not really the anime episodes. And here we go, Fennekin, right here, joining the other fire starters in this in this line. These are all these are all going to be the fire starters, y'all. I just love them so much. You know what I mean. <laughs> All right, so next one we're going to take a look at is we are going to switch from fire over to water. Only watched the first series about a year ago until you thought to try the others. Is it worth it? Like, there's so much to watch, you know, I wonder, is it worth it? Okay, so water types we can choose are the Faroki line, um, Binocle, Screp, which we've already got on, on, the, on the poison, so of course we're not going to choose him. Um, sea Launcher, and then this one, Vulcanarian, comes up again. So my favorite out of these, of course, that we haven't chosen yet because we're not duplicating, is Clauncher. I think it's cool. I think it's neato. Um, it's a, it's just, it's a blue lobster. It's neat. They knock down flying prey by firing compressed water from their massive claws, like shooting a pistol. Through controlled expulsions of internal gas, it can expel water like a pistol shot. At close distances, it can shatter rock. I think the series in Kalos is pretty good, X and Y. Oh, okay. I might have to check it out then. I mean, it's really literally been forever. And here we go. Here we go, Slauncher in, Slauncher in the water section. All right, next one we are going to take a look at is the dragon. So we're gonna go look at dragons for this generation. Where is it? There we go. Dragons. I like the addition of Pokemon competitions because it was kind of weird where everyone just battled. I agree, and then they only have the competitions in the one generation and then it goes away forever. I think competitions were cool too, and I wish they would um, do more of that. All right, so for dragons, we've got um, Dragal Day, I think is how you say him. You've got the Tyrant line, you've got the Gumi line, and you've got the Noibat line, right? Now, you know I normally go for like the, the lower down like the earlier evolutions instead of the later evolutions for cuteness factor, but, but <laughs> not here. Here we have to go with Gudra. Like, look at this thing. I don't, I guess, is Jane in the chat today? I don't think, she hasn't said anything if she is. I don't think she is. Um, but y'all, like, is this not the epitome of like goo soggy? Like, it's just, I love this thing. It's so cool. <clears throat> Competitions play a big part in the XYZ series. Oh, good. Okay, so this one, this very friendly dragon type Pokemon will hug its beloved trainer, leaving the trainer covered in sticky slime. It attacks with retractable horns. It throws a punch that the equivalent of the force of a hundred pro boxers. So it is sticky and it will punch you. <laughs> Looks like a friend. Exactly. It is such a friend. And here we go. So he goes right here in this little slot. Okay, and the last one that we are going to look at today is we are gonna look at the legendaries for this generation. So I'm just gonna pull this up so you guys can see the X and Y legendaries. Oh, it accidentally scrolled down the page. Let's refresh that. No. There we go. Okay, so we've got the Aura Trio. That you can that you have in this generation um Zaranus, Evital, and Zigarde, right and then I think yeah is that the only legendaries that were really added I feel like there's a few more but they're not strictly legendaries right but it doesn't matter because my choice for this particular generation is Xerneas the deer thing. Like, it's a deer with rainbow antlers. So, of course, that's what I'm going to go go with. Legend says it can share eternal life. It slept for a thousand years in the form of a tree before its reveal. When the horns on its head shine in seven different colors, it is said to be sharing everlasting life. So, to me, this is basically like Pokemon's version of the forest spirit from Princess Mononoke. 
That's what it always reminded me of, and that's why I think it's like so cool. So here we go. That's where that's where he goes. So yeah, we're filling it out. Y'all, we're getting close to a bingo here on this generation. We're getting close to a bingo on the ghost line. We're not there quite yet. You know, we're building it up, right? We're building it up in the, the ones that have the less possible choices is, of course, how we're kind of progressing through this. But you can definitely see, like, which generations have more new Pokemon versus others. Like, we've barely done anything on Gen 5 or Gen 1 because they introduced a lot of new Pokemon, but we've done a lot on, like, Gen 2... Gen 6, you know, ones where they didn't introduce a whole ton of new Pokemon. So that is our Pokemon meme for today. Let's do, let's go back here. Okay. All right, guys. That's it. That is the show for today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and playing some more Final Fantasy X. Um, next week on Artistic License, I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do. I feel like it's time to take a break from Final Fantasy for a little bit. We're at a good little stopping point there before we go on to to some more adventures and i feel like it's time to do a different artistic license stream so if you guys have anything that you would definitely want me to stream next week please uh, let me know but otherwise i'm going to spend a little time thinking about it and i will let y'all know when next thursday rolls around what we're going to do or if i've decided by saturday i'll let y'all know on saturday when we do the that stream and with that being said Please, 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 if you are able, come to my party on Saturday. It's going to be after Interstage Window, so Interstage Window is going to start at noon, just like always. Going to go till 2, just like always. Then at 2 o'clock, we are going to turn off the stream and then relaunch it with a whole bunch of other stuff that's going on. You're going to be able to do the giveaway. We're going to play party games. It's going to be a blast all the way until midnight. And if you can stay up late enough, please stay all the way until Cards Against Humanity, which is going to start at 10 o'clock, and I am usually way asleep by then so i will be freaking delirious i'll be delirious playing cards against humanity oh also we're going to mark the stream mature for that particular one so uh so that we can go crazy and have all kinds of fun um okay that's uh that's it here's here's the places to find me i'm gonna pop that in the chat there we go oh it's social it's not social there we go. Here's all the places you can find me. Okay, I stream every Thursday starting at 6.30 Eastern. Um, I stream every Saturday starting at noon Eastern. Thursday is Artistic License. It's kind of my whatever I want show. Um, Interstage Window on Saturdays is my conversation. It's definitely more focused on the role play help stuff because it's typically role play or internet related topics. Uh, you can also find me on YouTube, which is where Spare Room goes up every Wednesday at 2 p.m. That is my scripted content for role play help. And then the main social medias that I use are um tiktok and twitter so most of that's advertising but if you want to follow me on either of those it's at it's karen terry um on tiktok you get a little bit more silly stuff on twitter in addition to advertising you get hot takes and you can of course join my discord server which is focused on roleplay help if you're interested in helping or receiving help we'd love to have you um sadly have to go to work on sunday oh okay i understand thumper well you can you can stay for a little while but um only interrupt your sleep if you really, really want to. If you really, really want to, I won't talk you out of it, but you know. <laughs> Don't do it for me if you know you need your sleep. Okay, um, so that's it. That's all. That's, that's the show. Thank you guys so much for coming, and I will see you all on Saturday. All right. Bye, guys. See you Saturday. Oh, wait. Let's find someone to raid. Ha! Huh. I forgot that I was trying to be a better streamer. I started to say bye and I was like, wait, there's something I'm forgetting. I'm glad I remembered before I clicked the button. Hang on, let's see who we're gonna raid. Let's see who we're gonna raid. If y'all have any friends that you know are online, feel free to use the, uh, the link the raid What is that? Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Play Dumb. I'm so sorry that you're following right at the end of the stream, but maybe you can come on Saturday. Okay, so, oh, I see somebody. I see somebody streaming Stardew. Let's raid into them. Okay. I'm not sure how you pronounce this person's name. Alpha Tief? Okay. Here we go. Here from the raid. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad. Well, um, definitely come to the, the next stream so that you can see the whole thing. Okay. Here we go. We're going to raid into, into this Stardew stream. Everybody get ready. Everybody get ready. Everybody get ready. Okay, it looks like everybody's ready. All right, one, two, three, let's raid. <laughs>